my number one book recommendation is um, The Girls because I read it recently and it was very good. Anything by Gillian Flynn, I think that's who they are. Um, they wrote Gone Girl, who you may know because they made it into a movie, but I've uh, read Sharp Objects and like I think they have another book, but basically anything by them, they're so good! Like, they're really creepy, really cool. Resistance by On Cheers. I read this about six years ago, uh, and I can't remember which one was first, but it's by Karen Miller, and I think it's Innocent Mage or Awakened Mage. That was the first sort of universe of books that I was just like, this is what I want to be if I was a book character. Crime and Punishment. I think what is so amazing about that book, obviously it's a classic, but it's so emotive, and it's such an interesting look at that part of history that I've read it about three times. The book scene. Um, it will always be like my favourite book ever. I remember being 17 years old and reading it and crying myself to sleep. Um, but whilst I was on holiday with my family, so we were sharing a hotel room, and so I was crying myself to sleep and trying to be as like quiet as possible with my whole family in the same room. But that book means a lot to me. A series of unfortunate events. Like I read them when I was a kid, but I didn't read them properly. I'm reading them again now, and I'm in love with them. If you haven't read them, or if you know a child who needs a book, give them that. It would have to be a book called The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. It's a book I continuously reread. If you're ever in a bit of a jam, not feeling very positive, it's a great practical book that gives you advice about how to deal with problems. The Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. So the first book is Clockwork Angel, and it's just amazing. Everything you'd want in a book series. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It's one of my all-time favourite classics. I think everyone should have to read it, whether you read it in school or whether it's just something you pick up kind of later all through life. I've been picking it up since I was little to now, and I'm 24, and I love it, and it's just such a fantastic book for all ages.